Happy Thirsty Planet Thursday. I hope you have a drink in hand. Uh, have we, uh, you've confirmed that this isn't going to kill us, right? Yeah. I'm gonna be honest, the Instagram ad that got me was um, someone's review that said, this is nature's ad roll. It just tastes like a kiwi fruit that's not ripe yet. Oh, one more quick thing before you settle in, hopefully with a beverage you know. Um, for uh, the next 250 to s <laughs> for the next 250 subscribers, um, every person who subscribes, we're going to be donating two dollars to our fundraiser for climate justice. Um, there's more info in the description below. But basically, all you have to do is click subscribe, and you're donating, doing your good deed for the day. Um, plus, it really helps support my channel um, to do with YouTube's funky little algorithm. So why not? Hi beautiful people, happy Thirsty Planet Thursday. I hope you have a drink in hand. Um, we're gonna talk some little sustainability tips. I am running late, so I'm gonna be making the drink as we talk. And today, I am actually making a little prickly pear cocktail. Um, we had these prickly pear trees in um, the little house that we were staying at in Joshua Tree on the weekend, and um, I'm in California right now. But I had to pick some before we left um, because I saw on um, the Joshua Tree House Instagram that they made some prickly pear juice and just looked so cute and yum. And apparently they taste like natural bubble gum, which I'm not sure if I'm gonna like. But I feel like you've just got to do it, you know. If you're if you're around some prickly pears, you got to give it a go. But I have to figure out how to. I think I need to rinse these and stuff. So I might just do that quickly. The YouTube video that I watched just said to like scrub them. Um, anyhow, so what I want to talk about today are things that I have bought on Instagram, impulse buys that I've bought on Instagram that are kind of like sustainability swaps almost, and which ones I liked and which ones, like this is all just things that work for me, remember? And, oh hello, I'm, I'm filming. You could have a shower if you wanted, anyway, up to you. John's just back from a run. So talking um, so talking Instagram impulse buys, um, things that I like that I found work for me and then things that I didn't because I feel like Instagram targeting is really good, like it's too good for me. And I'm my attention is immediately caught when I see cute packaging and all that good stuff. Um, so I have three products that I'm gonna talk about. I hope I've got all these pricklies off because I got really prickled on the weekend and it was not fun. So I'm going to start with my fave and um, then go to the products that like didn't work for me so much. Not saying that they're not great products but. So the first one is Mud Water. This is my absolute favorite. It's a coffee alternative. Um, just looks like that. It's like this, this nice little black tin. Mine's really beaten up because I brought it traveling with me because I could not leave it at home. Um, and I'm gonna be honest, the Instagram ad that got me was um, someone's review that said this is nature's ad roll um, because I remember at the time just feeling like really low on energy and like by three, three o'clock I definitely need to pick me up every day but I don't like coffee um, unless it's in espresso martini form. So I was like, well, I'll just give this a try and I love it. So it doesn't taste like coffee. Um, like it, it's in that kind of family um, but if you're expecting it to taste exactly like coffee, it, it doesn't. Um, but it tastes like really healthy. So the main ingredient I think in it, or um, well, the first ingredient, is masala chai, which they've said is black tea, ginger, cardamom, cloves, nutmeg, black pepper. Um, but then it's also got all this other good stuff, um, cacao, lion's mane, something called cordyceps, chaga, reishi, cinnamon, turmeric, and Himalayan salt. So the idea, the guy who created it, this is just that um, you know, he was drinking coffee and having jitters and he would have, you know, these ups and then the crashes when your coffee wears off. So this has one seventh of the caffeine that's in a cup of coffee and it says you get focus, energy and immunity without the jitters, crash and dependency. Um, and it's kind of like fuels your morning ritual or for me it's afternoon ritual, I always have it at three o'clock. So I don't really know what a coffee crush is like. I imagine what it's like from a sugar crush because I've had plenty of those. I love sugar. Um, but yeah, I would say this, 
I get to 3 o'clock every afternoon, I feel really tired, like I just want to go and have a nap. And I have some of this, um, and I just feel like just perks me up for another couple of hours, but I never have trouble getting to sleep. Um, I like the taste. Um, so there's a couple of different ways that you can drink it. You, if when you get the kind of, I think I got a starter pack, and it basically comes with this and the powder, and then it comes with a frother as well. Like I'll put hot water, a bit of honey, and then I'll put um, some oat milk in it as well, because I like things milky. But I don't think you have to have it with milk, like if you just like things black. You can have it any way you want. And when it comes, there's this little recipe booklet that has all these different ideas of things that you can do. Okay, I want to read you some of like some of the cool stuff about some of the ingredients in here because I'm not an expert. Oh yeah, okay, so this is interesting. Shane, the founder, basically created this drink. He visited a bunch of different places. India, where he um, discovered chai. Um, also, um, mate in Brazil. And he basically tried to mix um, all of the kind of key ingredients that he found through these different sorts of caffeine alternatives um, together. And that's of how mud water came to be but the main thing is that there are these cool ingredients called adaptogens in it so there's the chai but then there's things like lion's mane and cordyceps um have a look on their website if you want to really understand adaptogens there's like all this history and that sort of thing on there and of course i have a code for you i will link it in the description below and you can try it out for yourself prickly pears are all all deep prickled now i think they're deep prickled yeah i'm i'm videoing and preparing for our Febrogenos this afternoon. I'm excited. Have we, uh, you've confirmed that this isn't going to kill us, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay, I have only prickled myself once so far. Um, now we're on to the cutting stage of the prickly pear. Look how cute that looks. It's like such a pretty pink color. I think these are going to look very cute. We're stepping up our Thirsty Thursday game. The real question is how many prickles did I get in my fingers? Okay, so I'm pretty much finished cutting these now. And before we go on to the blending, um, the next one that I want to share with you is Gem um, Daily Vitamins, or as they're called, the Antivitamin. Um, so basically the founder of this brand, um, you know, it's, it's like one of these young, cool, um, brands like someone just has a problem and they're like I'm sure other people have this problem too and they're just searching for a solution to it so um, she had adrenal fatigue um, and she was finding that she wasn't getting her vitamins and then the more she started looking into the vitamin industry she realized that it just hadn't been um, it hadn't been overhauled in like 60 years so you think about like the taxi industry and then you know uber came in and overhauled it and it's been um, there's been so many benefits for consumers because of that. Um, so that's essentially um, what's happening with, um, that's essentially what she's tried to do um, with the vitamin industry. I think Rituals had a big part to play in this as well. Um, but the difference is these guys are made from whole foods. That are, so they're made from plants, um, not in a lab. Or I guess they're probably made in a lab, but like not all the chemicals that you see in normal vitamins. Um, and wherever possible, they're actually made from algae. So I'll, I'll read that through in a little bit, but I want to show you what they look like. Um, so very cool. They're just like a little snack. And what I love doing at 3 o'clock is having um, my mud water and then having one of these. And I like also that, you know, you're three, it's 3 o'clock and you're kind of like crashing and tired and a bit hungry. I feel like this curbs my sugar cravings as well a little bit. Um, that's not proven, but that's just that's just how I, um, that's just what I found. So yeah, they come in three flavors, um, the cacao, the lemon, and mint. And I would really recommend you can get like a little trial pack of all of them um, before you try, because I tried all three and I really hated the lemon and the mint, I, but I do like the cacao. Um, so this one is second on my list after the mud water, just I would say it's more of a me thing. Like I'm really bad at just remembering to take vitamins every day. Um, and if you're not great at it, then I found they do go quite like hard um, and are easier and are harder to eat um, after the 30 days. That's been my only thing with them. Um, I like the taste. I love that it's just like made from plants. Um, and the other thing that I really love is again these like little extras that they put in. Um, the one that I particularly like is um, ashwagandha, and this is known to relieve stress. Um, so, 
let me give you a little overview of some of these ingredients. Um, it's your daily nutrition in one bite. It's made from plants and algae because we believe humankind deserves a real nutrition from clean, sustainable sources. Um, so mushrooms, coconut, spirulina, quinoa, red algae, chia seeds, pumpkin seeds, sea minerals, curry leaves, chickpeas, chlorella, did I say that right? Dates and ashwagandha. Um, so I feel like a lot of those are those things that you watch those um, like wellness, like health bloggers. They're like, oh, let me get just get my like spirulina flakes and put it on here. And you're like, really? Who has spirulina flakes lying around at home? Um, anyway, so I like that these had all that that good stuff. Um, the one other thing I will say though is I had to take separately from this fish oil tablets and um, iron tablets. This has enough iron for, uh, here we go, um, enough iron for 10% of your daily intake, but not 100%. Um, and I don't really eat much, if any, red meat, um, so I need iron. I have been trying to um, increase my spinach intake though, because I'd rather just eat food rather than having tablets. In terms of packaging, um, yeah, so similar to mud water, um, it comes in this tin and then it comes just in a uh, recyclable um, cover box. So no plastic, which is lovely. And like, how cute does this tin look? Like, it just looks so cute to have in your kitchen or something. Oh, I always really get taken up, carried away with the packaging. Um, okay, let's do some blending. I've also got a discount code for the Gem Vitamins, and I'll put that in the description below too. As you're supposed to fill it with water, so we've got that covered. Okay, so I'm thinking this looks about right. I want to try and Instagram this, but every single time I try and hold a camera and pour something, I always miss. Oh, fuck. Did you just miss? <laughs> <laughs> Were you trying to video it and you missed? <laughs> I feel like my outfit is all white today, so it might not be a good idea. Okay, let's taste. does not taste like bubble gum. Oh, I'm really not sure about that. It just tastes like a kiwi fruit that's not ripe yet. Like sour, it's supposed to be really sweet though. Hmm, maybe I didn't get the right ripeness. I think I'm gonna try and not waste this, but I might just put some, we have some fruit that's uh, cut up. Well, that was disappointing, but at least you learned something. Um, well, got the, like, I feel like, well, was I supposed to skin it or something? Because I can taste the skin, that's the thing. Maybe I need to blend it more. Um, okay. So then the last Instagram Impulse Sustainability Buy I want to talk about. I really, really, really like this brand. It's just the product didn't work for me. Um, and the product was Bite Toothpaste Bits. So instead of having your normal toothpaste, um, you get this really cute little glass jar and I don't have it with me because I, I did try using it for like two months and I just couldn't get the hang of it um, so like I didn't bring it traveling with me which is why I don't have it here um, but of course the things that I did really like um, you know you can see I have them with me all the way um, in California um, from New York so the amazing thing about these toothpaste bits are they're plastic free it's a really easy subscription model um, and they have different flavors as well. So there's like a charcoal flavor, a mint flavor, and I think they just came out with a hibiscus flavor. Um, and I think in fall too, they're gonna come out with like a really cute autumn flavor. Oh, I could have one of these bloody spikes. However, if you imagine you've got a little um, glass jar filled with toothpaste bites. If you put your wet hand in there and you try and get one of those toothpaste bites out, it's going to turn to mush, all of the other ones around it are going to turn to mush. Um, a lot of people just brush their teeth over the sink. The most plant friendly way to brush your teeth because you're using the least amount of water because you want to just um, you know, wet your toothbrush and then um, turn this tap off while you're brushing your teeth. But at night time I always, 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 always brush my teeth in the shower. And I, I do turn the shower off um, when I'm like shaving and brushing my teeth and everything. But I cannot crack this habit. Um, 
and so I always say like I'm here for living your best life just doing it a little bit more sustainably um, so if there's a habit that you can't change or if there's a ritual that you have that you really like like I'm not telling you to throw that out the window just um, find something that works for you so this the bite toothpaste bits just really didn't work in my with my routine because when I was in the shower my, my hands are all wet and I used to just get they would become all mushy and just go everywhere um, I really really tried and John was like no way Jose um, the other thing that I didn't like about them is they don't have fluoride it wasn't for me um, but you know sometimes that's how it goes and we're all about progress not perfection and just trying things and, and finding out as we go along um, but if you do have any products that you love um, particularly the tooth products um, please link them in the description below this video is helpful please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't um, because it really helps support my channel with the YouTube algorithm as always here for living your best life we're just trying to do a little bit more sustainably I hope you have a happy thirsty Thursday and you're enjoying a cocktail, you've learnt something, and I'll see you next time.